Hello, and welcome back to another uh, unboxing video, a box opening for Universes. Uh, today we've got The Dark Tournament, and uh, I'm here with Jeff as per usual, and I'm also here with uh, Mitchell, if you'd like to introduce yourself real quick. Hi, I am Mitchell Shimino. I have been playing the UVS card game basically since the first My Hero set came out currently on on fun stuff uh the team and i am good friends with ryan and jeff and pretty excited to open a box of dark tournament with them you're also the one that taught me how to play essentially taught me the my you've been my my mentor through a lot of it so glad to have True. you i've been the board. i've been the genkai to your yusuke yes um the, and you i know a bit about this set i was following it for release but i have not had a chance to really dig into it yet and i know that you've been testing a little bit so i was hoping yeah. you had some insight on some of these cards that we open but this one will be pretty focused on gameplay and the cards themselves um as i've got a lot more experience uh with this game now and let's just get into it i'm gonna move this these I these are to get special yesterday yeah. using a botan yes and jeff is we've been trying to get him to start playing uh with the release of this because he really likes yu Hakusho. so let's start with He's over here. Okay. I have a new recording setup and I'm not used to it yet, but hopefully I will adapt. Mm. I do not have packs to open to like prepare, but here we are. I'm sorry, there's no I was I was right. supposed to warn you before the video. Yes. The new pack wrappers, they're quite yeah. strong. And they have like new card stock, so things will feel a little different. Oh yeah, they do. They, it's interesting. They need it to be extra strong to hold the power of you. Yu Hakusho. Hakusho. Yeah. I'm True. gonna flip through the commons and not commons a little more quickly as we get further in. But oh Genke Spirit That's Genke a good card, Spirit Gun. So this yeah. is actually a card I, this morning, was um, looking at all of the order and good cards, see if I wanted to play anything in Hawks, and this is one that I mm -hmm. liked a little bit, but I think that there's yeah. another one of Genke, of uh, Genkai's, um, I'm going to mispronounce all their names, I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> You're good. Wait I usually know, I do believe it is Genkai, right? I don't know why. It is Genkai. Yeah, Wait Genkai. till you get to the team names. Okay, this uh, is, those ones are kind of tough. Um, this, I'm getting, but yeah. hi, there, is, there's a little, oh, there's a little pull tab. Yeah, you, you, you have to use the pull <laughs> okay. tabs now. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and, and it is, yeah. Great. Just be, be aggressive, just like yeah. rip the pull tab and then rip the top half off. I got but, it, um, I got it. All Genkai right. Genkai has somewhat similar vibes to Jiro in that you get to look at the top couple cards of your deck sometimes across your string mm -hmm. and guarantee checks. Uh, so that's pretty cool. The scaling damage isn't there, but it is it is a little close. <laughs> I'm hoping that these are these are a little bit crooked, but I hope I can figure this out and get them oriented a little better. Masho Concealment. Yeah, that card is very strong. The Dark Torment uh, Looms. Why is yeah, this card not notice, foil, even though it's a rare? Is, uh, so oh, because it's a reprint. Yes, it Sorry, is the okay. time-shifted card. So gotcha. the way that a normal pack without um, mm -hmm. an ultra is structured is the way that the first two were, right? Where you'll go yeah. through, you'll go through your commons, you got three though. uncommons, you uh, you'll get your rare, uh, and then if it's a pack with just a rare in it, it's the rare, then the time-shifted retro reprint card, and then a character. Right, where is my... Uh, Where's my retro card? I don't remember where to go. I mean, uh, I don't, it's fine. I'll figure it out. But yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Uh, this card's actually pretty good. I believe. Yeah, dark, dark tournament, tournament looms. looms. Uh, the cost. You do not have to add a momentum to your hand, so it can just be played to draw a card and like turn it into something else. And otherwise, it adds a momentum to your hand, which is very strong. Yes. All right. Sorry. This is. I've got my camera awkwardly oh i see an ultra rare let's see if yeah i was gonna say <laughs> with the news with the new I silver see, borders it's less I of a see, surprise yeah it is yeah it is much less of a surprise but it's okay um and is this set a little bit this set is larger than usual right because it also has yeah. all the time shifted cards all right mm -hmm. so got krama this is the character that jeff is looking forward to and urameshi perseverance this is also the release event promo i believe and there's an alt art of this in the set as well from what i understand correct yeah if you if you are able to go to a release event and win it you could potentially play with four different unique arts of urameshi perseverance yes. the victory promo the release event promo the inset card and the alt art and if you do that there's something wrong with you <laughs> that's true <laughs> if, you, if you have four <laughs> different arts yeah <laughs> it's a statement play yeah it is okay let's see oh man oh it's poo is there a poo card uh, there is not. I think but, it's just uh, this one. I can't believe they made an Ein card and there's not a. Poo <laughs> yeah, there's card. not an asset Fu card. Yeah. It's, mm, or uh, Poo, yeah. They did. They did. They did, they did put him on. A, they did put him on a pretty, a, like a perfectly playable card. So you'll you'll be seeing a lot of him. 
Ring coup. Especially oh, in the draft. Oh, an access there you go. Spirit gun final. This is... I'm going to sleeve this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that card? an alt art? So, no, the, it yeah, is a, so this uh, is the this is the the extra secret rare. This is the like uh it, it has the kanji in the background and it is borderless. So this is a pretty cool one. Yeah, those Spirit are final. uh secret rares are generally one per box. Uh and then that XSR uh doesn't necessarily take your secret rare slot, so you could still open another one. Yeah, but I that believe card is this happened Quite with good. the Jetburn box. We pulled an XSR and a Secret Rare, I, be I believe. Okay, I'm getting... Yeah. These are making a fool of me. Yeah, you're getting <laughs> owned by the pack. <laughs> this is literally making making a mockery of me. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, let's just go. I did want to keep the characters separate to the best of my but yeah. ability. Something I noticed when I was sorting my stuff for this set is that there is quite a bit of spam, and that's leaning mm -hmm. towards the new design philosophy of trying to make sets more like accessible for draft. Uh, and that's like super helpful, right? Because generally, when you're at a release event, you want to put like every spam in your deck as like a rule of yes. thumb. Uh, and there's quite a bit of it. I've already, I've already messed up putting rares and time. Yeah, I was cards. Say, I've already just, just I'm doing my best. Character on top of I'm, you, you are. <laughs> I'm doing my best, but I'm. Yeah. I'm. Uh, oh man. It is all good. I'm actually yeah, these, the, uh, opening these packs, the rare... taking more of my brain power than I thought. And there's, they are actually so much like sturdier. It's weird. Yeah, okay. the rare you just opened earlier, the OG Plant Strike, I believe it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. That card is very, very strong in Kurama. Represents a lot of damage over the course of your string. Armor of the Ape. I know this is one that I'm looking forward to playing in uh, Amajiki, I believe. Yes. Yeah. All of Momo Taro's support plays incredibly well with Amajiki. Where's my rares? Okay. And this is my time shifted card, and this is my character. Mm -hmm. So, Genke. Yeah. A little, yeah. You know, giving you a little extra information. Yeah. For um, people who are newer to the game and the sets, the two time shifted characters from the last UU set, which came out in 2019, are Botan and Biako. So you'll notice some cards with them on it. Uh, while they are not like main characters in the set, uh, they still received some support via the time shift. Oh, yeah, and here's here's just two zeros. Oh, this I know. Oh. Okay. Ooh. All right. Let's let's so, pack it yeah, up. We'll have, get to yeah. that one. Let's go. We'll get yeah, let's to that go one. This, let's go okay. through this point by point. So another. Okay. This I've seen. This is a rare that people are really excited yeah, about. I've that seen. card was in my deck yesterday. Yeah. It's been. Yes, I card, see that it is. It's been very. Uh, that card is after. a more reasonable re retrain functionally of a card that also had Botan on it called Voice of Reason. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a rare zero diff, so yeah. it is going to be uh, monetarily expensive. Mm -hmm. um and it's just a good card in general uh and then your time shifted card is mop strike which is a lot of people's uh card that they're excited about because it functionally is a cantrip uh and sometimes you can go like plus one and a lot of characters in this set specifically younger Tagoro, can put good stats on it uh and it has a good block modifier it's a very strong card to be brought back into the format and what you have pulled is a retro specific reprint so the ones that kind of look like packs of spearmint gum on the back uh i believe like true identity <laughs> both versions of like spearmint stuff oh, uh, yeah, or yeah. uh shotgun stuff are mm -hmm. uh time shifted so those are not playable in the current format but they are very very cool reprints for cards that are played in retro and they're legal in draft right so had i opened yes. this in a draft pack this would have been a card that i could have uh I could absolutely have run with yeah. so unfortunately i have robbed somebody of a of a nice draft yeah. by opening by opening this by, by opening, opening this draft. box for and, my uh, for my own gain <laughs> that botan's coaching card is like 10 bucks yeah yeah i've, I've already seen, uh, yeah let's see okay suzuki looks cool when i read a, a lot of his cards I'm oh not yeah sure if i really want to play him but i think the characters i'm looking forward to most from this are genke as we've said and Jin. i think Jin, is the other yeah. one Jin would not shut up about Jin. <laughs> Jin Forest feels very much like uh, uh, Jin feels very close to what Eraser Head was, uh, where all of your attacks can be quite fast, all of your opponent's attacks can be quite slow, and if you don't want to die, you can do a very good job of playing defense. Uh, he has, in my games so far, 
nearly identical problems to Eraserhead, where you do not put much damage on any of your attacks, so you have to play a longer game. But he is very cool, and he has a lot going for him. And he had a lot of flash attacks. If I'm, oh, yeah, this is... Before we started recording, Jeff said Yusuke was asleep for a lot of the Dark Tournament, and then we mentioned this card, and here it is. <laughs> Prominently story, featured asleep. Yeah, yes. story spotlight resting yes. up. <laughs> Yeah, okay. that was gonna say if you're having if Rok you're having trouble with names. Roku Yukai Jeff huddle. A team yeah. Roku Yukai response. Roku Yukai. Roku yeah. Yukai. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm Skate Team Leader. So this is the new one, but there is, as you mentioned, there is a, a Retro reprint, reprint of the old one. Of the yep. old one that you can use in draft if you pull it, right? I believe. Correct. Which, yep. That seems to be that one is like if I I don't really remember what the original one does, and I feel like if my opponent just has that against me in like sealed, I am just gonna be sick. But it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be like, this is a this is a fun. I mean, like when I played my jet burn draft, I I did open hawks, and then I did open two hawks feathers in my packs, and I'm sure right. my opponents were sick when that happened. Yeah, too, but fortunately, you can get like rewarded with a later uh pull of like old yusuke because they both in draft or in sealed at least want mm -hmm. to be doing similar things where you want yes. to pick up all the cards you see that say spirit yeah uh they just do different things with them Jin and zero's seven difficulty one check okay yeah. i remember no, that's I re very <laughs> funny so in the original um yu hakusho trading card game the Zeru cards, that's a guy's name, right? Yeah. Zeru, yeah. Uh, yeah. All of his cards were like extremely difficult to play. Like the cost of them well, was like what very is high. His, what was his ability in? I don't, I don't remember. He was just a fire, he was just a fire guy. I don't he was remember. Just a fire like, guy. Who, yeah. who did he fight against in the, in, in the tournament? I, I don't remember who he fought. Um, if I can get this. Uh, it was like, Zeru was like pretty. Okay. We're good. It wasn't it wasn't Hiei, right? I don't think. I think it was cool. Maybe it was Kuabara. Oh, this guy, uh he 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 looked pretty cool too, but yeah, I'm not entirely yeah, sure yeah. if Shishiwakamaru. Yes. He has the yeah. harder yes. names. <laughs> yeah. Shishiwakamaru, he's, I uh oh. He's very cool. His whole shtick in his character now is you play like a big old string and then at the end of it you say my next card passes and you just let it fly dragon of the darkness flame this that is a card pretty is cool very one. cool yeah. and fun i think this card around. i think this card looks sick too i think this is uh a... a lot of yeah. his attacks in this uh make him lose health and i don't yes. like i didn't really get like after reading all of them i was like didn't really see the synergy of him losing health but maybe i was just missing something but i'm sure it's yeah like, so the You'll notice on some of the uh, time shifted cards, there's mm -hmm. a keyword called desperation and then a yes. number following it. Yes. Desperation used to be the term for when your character was below half vitality. Okay. Um, and when you have desperation plus a number on a card, that means when you are at half vitality or less, or sorry, less than half vitality, that's how much it costs to play it now. Mm -hmm. uh, Hiei plays around with a similar type of mechanic and. Oh. Sorry, spoiler. I was, this, yeah, so I was gonna say spoiler. I this almost, pack, you did pull your. SR. I almost said there's no rare in my pack, and then, <laughs> and yeah, then there was this. Okay, there's your SR. Secret rare, um, true, 100 unleash. This is for younger Tagoro, I believe. Yeah, it's for just, younger Tagoro, but that card is just very solid in a lot of different decks. Yeah, uh, I my friend, too. yeah, yeah, that card my is friend, like 30 bucks right now. Yeah, my friend Phil has that in his Mimic deck because of the responsibility mm -hmm. on it, which says if you try to play it as a block when you're at 10 or less HP. Uh, mm -hmm. It just passes. Right, we've got so, the rest of our yeah. packs over here. That was a good half of the box. Yeah, good. You picked you picked the I winning half. I feel like this half will not be as good because I feel like it, <laughs> it will be hard to beat this. But True. We'll um, see. But yeah, we'll to, see. To there could same... be the chrome. There could be the chrome karama in there. Ooh. You never know. To that same point about um, Hie paying a lot of life, and with mm -hmm. the uh, cost of True Identity's ability. Or, um, true 100% unleashed ability being gated by you being at 10 health you yes. get a lot of payoffs for being lower in Hie. uh like one of his foundations specifically that's very strong the more of it that you have out says if you are at 10 or less hp this attack gets plus one or minus one speed 
Uh, so if you have multiples of those on the board and you are at 10 health, it can be very hard to get that last 10 damage in against you when you can block everything. Interesting. If I see it, I hope you will point it out to me. Surprise yeah. daggers. Uh, where did I put my rares? All right. And XR Toya. This is our yeah. first XR. I've noticed, I believe. I think all the Shinobi characters are like XRs. Cool. This yeah. is the first set in a while where they're not every single card can be XR. Mm -hmm. It's just I the think characters. It's, it's just the characters. And the yeah, secret rares, I guess, if you count that. But. Correct, yeah, and then there are, uh, as far as alt arts go, uh, handfuls of different cards have other art. I believe Keiko's support has alt art, yeah. so does Double Spirit Blast. Oh, that's true. And... This side of the box could have an alt art ultra rare. So we yeah, can, we can and sew... uh, Rose whips something. And a chrome rare. Yeah, and a chrome rare. And a chrome rare. Yeah, there's the, uh, yeah. There's the Hiei card on match quickness one? that you just passed. Yep. You have 10 or less health. Okay, cool. So then, yeah, the more you get of the, this just kind of, this kind of feels like, um, when you're playing, uh, Ryukyu and it's like your first copy of like talented Baker, or I believe it's called dragon power is like yeah. whatever. And then as the turns go by and you've got four talented bakers and dragon powers, and all your attacks, yeah, plus four every, speed, you're like, <laughs> every okay. one of your attacks functionally says I am unblockable. <laughs> yeah. I see blade. Okay. And younger Tagoro. Yeah, this is, a. Uh... Younger Tagoro specifically, a lot of people are afraid of for, um, like, you know, the Wish Tournament format, uh, mm -hmm. and as well as just, like, in general, uh, because on the death symbol, he has a large amount of uh, attacks that just draw cards, uh, and he gives them all stats on his own, so you are only gated by the amount of checks you can pass in a turn. Yeah, and there's one of shapeshifter. Yeah, there's one of Jin's flash attacks that you were Keiko's talking about. Aid. This is one you mentioned, aid. but this yes. is the regular art. Yeah. Uh, there's a there are two cards with Keiko apostrophe s is something. Uh, Keiko's aid. Oh, is Keiko's support. One. Keiko's yeah, support, Keiko's support right. is in the main set, but Keiko's yes. aid is probably one of, if not the most impactful time shifted reprints. Really? Uh, because oh. it helps you play oh. an in <laughs> yeah, it helps yeah, you play defense incredibly you well. Yeah. Uh, and. In, uh, I believe on the good symbol specifically, if you block with an Airy Smiles and then flip Keiko's aid, uh, their oh, next they attack are, is they're functionally the three they're harder. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it they're... is. It is very tough to continue your string after that. Hawks, Hawks stocks are going up. True. All right. Well, there is no rare, so the next this card behind us has got to be insane. Mm -hmm. Ah, Rosa Barak. Hey, there we go. Yeah. This is the Chroma Ultra Rare. This uh, builds yeah. a character from anywhere, even your removed from removed game from pile, game. which is kind yep. of funny. It is very good, yeah, because Karama, uh, when you kick stuff out with Karama's ability or cancel things, you remove the character from the game. And that mm -hmm. is the only way you can get it back is with yeah. uh, Barrage. Otherwise, you are limited to three per game, unless you can his find them. Because his other attack only builds from... Uh, deck or graveyard, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the toughest punk card that was your retro reprint is also very oh, strong. Which I have just, I've, just, it's just been thrown into the into. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> it was just. Yeah, you're good. It was thrown into the <laughs> void. Oh well, there's my retro one. I, I definitely, I'm gonna have to go back to those all the retro reprints because I, yeah, for sure, just forgot for at least like ten of them. But mm -hmm. it's okay. Invincible body, spirit gun, mega. This is. I usually think six checks, especially six twos, like a six or six okay. difficulty Ooh, six two checks two. Wow. Okay. are like, I would generally be like, this is the biggest trap ever of all time. But when I read this, I was like, this effect is actually so insane that I unfortunately can see this. Like I would usually yeah. avoid a six difficulty two check with every fiber of my being, but mm -hmm. discard a card, add a card from your discard pile to your hand is so Very insane strong. yeah <laughs> like, it also has like a plus zero high block that yeah. card in sealed or draft specifically is also very strong i uh well, in the, one of the two released a, events i played in card, right yeah so yes. yusuke can it's play also, it from his discard pile yep and, and don't a lot of the spirit cards like interact with each other or a lot of characters interact with the spirit archetype kind of correct yeah there are uh genkai and yusuke specifically care about the spirit keyword uh and it is like 
if you get all of the spirit cards, you kind of have like Exodia. you're spoiled. Yeah, yeah, you're you're spoiled. Yeah. You're spoiled for choice on what you can um use. This is the yeah. one that we were talking about. Yeah, the not the the altered version of it looks very cool as yeah. well. But Around um, the world. yeah, new use case gimmick is you can play spirit cards from your discard pile once per turn. Uh, okay, so, that's what I thought. So I was like, even if you do check that, you could be like, all right, I checked this card, and now I can play it from yeah. my Yes, card, exactly, and that's kind of also like checking specialized need... sound waves. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Just like, well. You'll because. notice that a lot of the spirit cards have like very good or relevant block modifiers as well. Yeah, and plus zero is very use, good and relevant. Yeah, you can use Yusuke's effect on defense as well. If you don't mm -hmm. want to play it as like part of your attack string, you can go, well, I will block with this breaker two low block card that says spirit, or I will block with this plus zero high block card that says spirit. Who else could who else could block from there? I think it's like Kurigiri two can block from mm -hmm. his discard pile. He's not yeah, you very can... good, but, but no, his a. <laughs> you'll know you'll a lot of the time when characters aren't very good, their support is used, and like vice versa. Yeah, where like Jiro was very strong, but we used like all of Ochako's attacks minus like one or two Jiro attacks that were standouts. Mm. Uh and then like Kurigiri oh, this two. Is fun, this is a funny card. This yeah, Rando Spirit Gun is very, very funny. Fun. Card. <laughs> <laughs> that is a that will feature prominently in a lot of my decks that I will be playing at locals. You may play once per turn abilities on your character a second time this turn. <laughs> Only yeah, playable. This is immediately preceded by an attack or face down card. Very, yeah, very, very intentional with their wording on that one, so that you cannot just continue playing rando guns and using once per turns over and over again. Yeah. Very important that it says a second time. Yes. Um, but yeah, rando gun is very funny. Uh, there's a lot of cool decks that people are already theorizing with that, like uh, Deku Five uh, and Overhaul, uh, namely come to mind. Oh wow! Okay, both of those sound crazy. Yeah, because Deku yeah. Five is gonna be like, is this a char? Oh, and it's a charge. Yeah, so it it's a charge towards Deku Five's draw. That's really cool. Yeah, and Deku Five can give it the speed and damage pump on his own that let itself get plus two two. So this, so. this is the card. This is uh, this morning when I was like trying to cope with some Hawks deck mm -hmm. and I determined I will put this in my Hawks deck and just see what happens. It gets throw if, if it matches two or more symbols with your character, which it does because Hawks has good and order. Mm -hmm. And then look at the top two cards of your deck, put them back in any order. Is it second effect? And I was like, yeah, I enjoy both abilities of this card. I will, <laughs> exactly. I will. We can finally we can finally play Jiro cards in our Hawks deck. <laughs> When was ta this card is very funny as well. This card yeah. is extremely funny. And is there a Koenma character card? I don't believe uh, so. No. Eight difficulty. Oh, right. This gets minus one difficulty for each committed foundation in your rival stage. So it'll usually, I feel like unless, I feel like you're going to, this will cost four a lot, probably. Generally, yeah, generally. generally speaking, you're going to yeah. try and to in, make uh, this cost four. And I believe that's Rinku, right? Yes. The Yo-Yo Kid? Yeah, Rinku, yeah, Rinku yes. Uh, in Rinku specifically, that card will like always have a discount because his whole shtick is about like stunning your staging area while attacking yeah. you. So, yeah. and there's also I think a rare attack in this that says like pitch a momentum, go pick up that card or another copy of something yes, else. Yes, I believe you're right. So, it's walk the dog yeah. or around the world. There's another is his other I think his other one that you can. Pick yeah, up. which like flavor wise, it's cool because you're just like you know doing a starting yo-yo so combo nice. and then finishing it with like a cool little flourish ending trick and 100 percent power yeah 100 <laughs> that is another younger tagoro card yeah. there are two packs left that yes two packs i believe left. so come on so one of them is going to have the altar and the other one's going to have the chrome naturally of course. yeah that's guaranteed as we've drawn it up yeah another one of these heal okay so when i did the challenger series opening the first mm -hmm. time a card came across the first time i looked at a card and then it gained health i said not many cards gain health in this game because i believe yeah. in my hero game that's true <laughs> and then in the challenger yeah. decks like 11 cards gained that. health and yeah. i was yeah. like i look so stupid this card it's gains like, health oh, so i just got like i just i had like flashbacks a, yeah. literally a flashback of like i better not mention you're that. trying 
Yeah, you're trying to do like the middle ground. You're like, I should just say what the card does. This, this card gains really. health. Yeah. No, the river sticks and chew. Weapon Clash is another very strong rare in this set. Yeah. Um, in conjunction with a lot of the other cards that water already has, this can functionally just make a lot of attacks zero. Like if you combine this with paying a momentum for broken psyche so like to set an attack to. What does min one? in parentheses mean in this uh does... minimum one so functionally uh what they have done is they have tried to uh they've, they've heard feedback from people where it's like we don't like uncapped damage pump we don't like uncapped minus this or that or the other thing um so like minimum one means that it cannot go below one with that effect okay so uh, this just like effect Suzuki... will set it to one but it will not set it to zero if if uh if correct is, if that is what's happening yeah, uh, and then you'll notice on Suzuki Flurry, I don't know if you pulled that one, uh, but it's the ultra rare for the clown. Um, I don't think I did. There is, yeah, uh, it says it gains damage equal to the number of cards you've drawn on this turn, but it's maxed at five if you are not Suzuki. Okay. All right, so last pack. This is obviously, this is where the chrome rare is, as we've... Yes, it's been hiding here determined. this whole time. Yeah. Waiting, it's really, waiting for us. Yeah, they really wanted to make it dramatic, so it's fine. Slave power. Grasp. All right, we're getting we're getting closer. <laughs> Strong flash attack for Jin. All right. Uh, Eden, Eden box, Eden very box. good rare. And El Jagoro. Un yeah. Unlucky. <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> okay. ah. All right, no Chrome rare, only yeah. an excess. You did. Yeah. yeah, you did in that last pack pull probably the strongest deadlock effect they have ever printed. Which one? Which one is? Oh, uh, War Strike. Strike. Your rival discards three cards. I see. And then the Not top part bad. of it says, draw equal to the number of cards your opponent has discarded this turn, which in Botan I, yes. will draw you quite a few cards, or in conjunction with Botan's effect, or, um, attacks and any other character can also draw you quite a few cards. But in Botan in general, that card is just like a, a home run. You just like yes. draw nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a two check. What are you going to do? Yeah, you have to. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, it's fine. All right, so that was our dark tournament box opening. All in all, pretty pretty good. Unfortunately, we did not get Jeff the Chroma Chrome Rare, but we did get XSR <laughs> Spirit Gun Final. But you know what? Universes, if you're listening, Jeff Jones wants a Chroma Chrome Rare. So if you want to send me one, <laughs> I'd be reasonable. I went to go buy one on TCG Player, and guess what? There isn't one. I went on eBay, there isn't one. So the only option <laughs> is that you guys have to send me one. <laughs> all right, one, two, three. Four, five, six. So six ultras and one time shifted ultra. I don't know yeah. what the ratios got... of this are supposed to be or whatever, but I believe it's about standard to get yeah, six. Yeah, I think this uh, is ultra rares. Yeah, yeah so your your box and then was we just got the above average. We spiked yeah. the spirit gun final. <laughs> exactly. Know, but... Continuing the trend of the content creator boxes being course, very good. Of course, I had to had to finish strong. Um, yeah. So I guess uh, this set is. Available now. It's it's uh, only at local game stores actually. So um, check out your local game store if if uh, you're interested in Yu Hakusho or this game. They've got more uh, Challenger decks coming out in a couple weeks. There's the new My Hero set in late or in in May. I believe in May. Yeah. May. Yeah. So definitely looking forward to that as well. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you and all the, for watching. Uh, it, and, and what? What's up? I was gonna say the new Challenger decks are. Uh, critical role challenger deck so if you yes. are interested in that at all even if you have like any type of passing familiarity with D, &D you've probably heard of critical role uh very popular uh and new format coming out for release events uh that you might want to check out with that release yeah and that will be in in march i believe correct yep sorry so look at this one again this one looks sick it's very cool yeah yeah all right. Uh, any any closing any closing thoughts? Or are we just are we just accepting am, this box was nice? <laughs> your box <laughs> and your box was very good. Uh, I wanted to say about the UU set just in general. I am mm. pretty excited about a lot of the cards. Uh, some of the characters I'm interested in, but mostly I'm just like very excited to play with these new cards. I think there's a lot of cool utility uh, and like new toys to play with. And then there's like. A handful of characters there are quite a few in the set but there's only a handful that i'm really interested in playing with but i think that their cards are all quite powerful yeah and um i had a thought and i lost already oh no uh <laughs> before unless i remember it in the next 15 seconds uh thank you for watching um 
If you actually, I will ask anyone who's still watching with us to tell me what your favorite card was that we pulled. What did you like? If you have a favorite Yu Hakusho character, even just let me know. Just uh, yeah, but, tell uh, me about your favorite Yu Yu Hakusho character. Yeah, Jeff. Favorite. Jeff would is very interested. Jeff loves Yu Yu Hakusho, so it's always down to see what the people are talking about. Um, yeah. So thank you all for watching and hopefully we'll be back with more of this, uh, in the future when more sets come out. I know I'm definitely looking forward to the next, my hero set. So that's the one I've got my eye on, but, uh, we will see girls. You. Yes. Girl power is the name. <laughs> but, Girl uh, power. Mm -hmm. Hoping for Jiro three <laughs> <laughs> or Jiro one reprint. Anyway. All right. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, anyways, oh yeah, thank you for watching and we will see you next time.